What is happening my Mitch mates? Welcome back to the channel for yet another COVID-19 update. Things in COVID land have been very quiet here in the United States, but I just want to give a little bit of an update of the possibility of what's to come. We've seen BA2 explode in the last few weeks all around the world, but the question that still remains is will the United States see a similar type of surge? That was a lot of SS's in one sentence, wow. The short answer is is possibly, and let me explain a bit further. If you take a look at the COVID-19 data in the United Kingdom, their curves are continually rising and they've seen the highest amount of COVID in their country since the start of this pandemic. Similar progressions and increased rates of COVID have been seen in other countries throughout Europe as well. There's no doubt that the prevalence of BA2 is starting to increase here in the United States. However, just because BA2 is increasing, does this mean we'll actually see another surge in cases similar to what was observed with the Omicron wave. The United States is largely over this pandemic and aren't we all? At the moment, BA2 makes up about 60% of all new cases here in the United States. As a whole, cases are down about 8% over the last two weeks. However, if we take a look at the graph here, we can see that cases have been steadily increasing in both New York City and New York State. Cases have risen 62% in the last two weeks in New York City and 65% in the state of New York. I do want to emphasize that although these percent increases are high, the actual total number of cases is significantly lower, especially in comparison to the months of December, January, and February. It's so low that in some states, such as Ohio, shout out to the home state, have stopped giving out daily data on their COVID-19 updates simply because nothing's really changing. All of this being said, I do believe that a small wave of of BA2 will be entering the United States in the months leading up to summer. I definitely think it won't nearly be as high as what was seen with the Omicron wave, but I do believe it will be some noticeable increase. BA2 infection rates after getting the Omicron variant aren't nearly as common, and this is a good thing for all of the individuals who were infected with the Omicron variant as, like I've said in videos in the past, it acts sort of like a vaccine in and of itself. Also, the data shows that even if you do happen to get reinfected with BA2, the symptoms are much less dramatic. As I stated in previous videos, COVID-19 will likely become endemic here in the United States as well as other places around the world over the next few years. If you have no idea what endemic means or you're watching this video and you think endemic means the end of a pandemic, please check out this video here as it goes into more detail. Thanks for watching everyone, and I will see you all on the next one.